Well, if you like watching movies as much as me, then I'm sure you'll be very excited about this news. 3D without the glasses. And Travis Klein joins us with more on this. Good morning, Travis. How Good are you? Good morning. Doing well. Good to see you. So it's going to be world first, a 3D television that you can use without glasses. It's going to hit the market very soon. And we're going to take a first glimpse today on the show at this revolutionary technology. And at the same time, check out the features. What are the features? Well, on this next report, we're going to find out. As we head into an era where 3D images are more readily available, watching content in 3D at home is becoming more popular. But wearing special glasses can sometimes make you dizzy, and there are other related inconveniences. Oh, makes me so dizzy. I wish there was a way that you could watch things in 3D without the glasses. In order to resolve some of these problems, Sky Media, a company in Korea, has come up with a new way to enjoy 3D images more conveniently. It's a technology that projects images in 3D without having to wear glasses. The can looks like it's going to pop off right off the screen. I could reach up and just grab it. This is glasses-free 3D TV. Before, in order to watch 3D TV, people needed to wear glasses, but because it was uncomfortable, we created a glasses-free 3D TV that uses a display system with ultra-fine lenses to get rid of those inconveniences. Existing 3D TVs either use the active shutter glasses, where there's blinking left and right, or the passive polarized glasses that read the image line by line. But the glasses-free 3D TV uses ultra-fine lenses on pantoscopic panels that allow differentiation between the left and right, projecting a 3D image without users having to wear glasses. The shutter glasses use blinking to create a three-dimensional image, so it can strain the eyes. And with the polarized light glasses, the image quality is not as good. The glasses-free 3D method is the solution to all these problems. Using this TV, people can enjoy three-dimensional images without glasses. It recomposes two different images from existing 3D content and generates a 3D video that can be watched without glasses. Whoa, that's pretty awesome. Another focal point of this glasses-free system is the real converting function. Cool. This TV can convert 2D images into 3D. How does it do this? Well, it's possible by a function called real converting. This function allows the television to measure the depth of footage from existing images and restructures them in 3D. All the contents have been 2D until now. In order to watch these 2D images without glasses, we must separate the image. Our system does the automatic converting internally and project this onto the display. This is real converting technology. What's notable with this function is that it only takes 0.5 seconds to recreate the images in 3D. Also, if you connect a 2D camera with no 3D functions to the 3D TV, you can check the images in three dimension on the spot as you are taking the images. Another feature the 3D TV boasts is that you can connect it to a computer and experience online games at a whole new level. As if video games weren't addicting enough, with this 3D feature, it feels you're like right in the game with the benefit of not having to wear the 3D glasses. The first glasses-free 3D TV and how this will influence the global 3D TV market is something worth keeping an eye on.
So once again, this is the first time that this 3D technology is being unveiled to the public, Travis. Now we do have the two screens over here. One is running right now in that 3D, uh, the glasses 3D, and the other one is a normal screen. That is true. We did this on purpose so you could compare and contrast. Now right here, we have a regular television. Over here, we have the 3D television, the glasses-less television. Mm -hmm. Now you notice right away the depth and the images, they look so real. I feel like I could like swing on the vines like Tarzan myself as well. And one thing interesting about this is it does have a feature, depending on the person, when you watch this, you can actually adjust to maximize or minimize oh. the depth, depending on how you want to see it. Okay, so the level of 3D, right? For example, if you are wearing glasses, sometimes if a long movie, for example, Transformers 4, that was a three hour movie, all in 3D, it was kind of a pain to my eyes, but so you can, um, you, this is glassless number one, so you don't have to deal with that factor, but you also can control the depth on it. Exactly. Okay, I'm not sure if our cameras can actually catch this, because you do need two eyes to watch something in 3D, but you can see there is a little bit of a, a rendering that is going on on the left, I'm sure you'll be able to see that, and it is running, I can guarantee that over here in the studio, it is in complete 3D. Right, even from the side, yeah. from our angle, you can mm -hmm. definitely see the 3D effect and the, the depth of it. Exactly, so which means amazing. from all angles, you mm. can get the 3D enhanced enhancement. Right. Okay. And it's actually not just a feature that you have for maybe television signals or movies, but mm -hmm. if you connect any type of video, to the 3D television, it'll convert it to 3D right away. Okay, so we're so talking if you stick in your computer, if you have computer games, if you have video games, even like your smartphone, maybe functions and features and applications, it'll work. So right now what is running on here right now is the same exact image on two different TVs. So this is actually a 2D image being rendered into 3D. Exactly. All right, so we have this out right now um, in the studio, but when will consumers be able to grab this item? Well, at the moment, it's about 90% on its development completion. It's going to be featured very soon in September 2014 in the IFA in Berlin, which is the largest consumer electronics trade show in Europe. Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna go on to global markets and then their goal is to have it maybe released that same month in September here in Korea. Okay, and this is a small and medium business, uh, medium-sized business that's actually making in charge of this, an enterprise that's making this, right? Instead of a big uh, conglomerate. Exactly. Right? So the potential is limitless. All right, sounds good, Travis. Thank you very much for joining us with this awesome technology. I just really want to take this home right now. I think but I'm going to take it home <laughs> if I beat you to it. All right, thank you, Travis.